What's going on YouTube? Here I have a thread wallet. This isn't made to carry tools, but I have made it that way. So I have a total of five cards, one, two, three, four tools if you count the pen. And I wanna show you what this wallet is and how I have it set up and what tools I have. <clears throat> so first up I have the Gerber Dime on a Night Eyes lockable carabiner. I'm not sure which model this is, but it has these little plastic things that come down to unlock it. You can easily just slip whatever you need out of there. I bought that a couple years ago. It's worked well. The locks do come off here and there, but here's the Gerber Dime, a very small pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, wire cutters. This thing was about $20 or $25. So this is just to get little things done, nothing major. For the price point, I feel like it's a good deal. It's very small, I'll give you the measurements on it. So this is about two and three quarter inches. And up first here, we have a box cutter. So I found this interesting, this box cutter, because unless I purposely go for it, I probably won't use it. And on the other side here, we have a small knife. So the knife blade, I'll give you the knife, knife blade length on here. The knife blade is about inch and a half, a little less, but there is detents here, but it does not lock. So you can only do so much with this knife. Here's a bottle opener and it has a little ring you can put on a keychain. I find this pretty good for a keychain multi tool. And on the other side, there is a flathead. And on the other side is a file, plus it comes to a point. I don't know if that's a flathead as well. Could be used as one. Here are the scissors. I feel like they work well for how small they are. I've cut paper, cardboard, and zip ties with them. So it is functional. I do like it better than some of the other multi-tool scissors out there. And there is a small, here it is, small tweezers in there. So I feel like this has a lot of function for how compact it is. Now I could easily throw this in here if I wanted to take out the flashlight. So here's the flashlight that I usually carry. This is the Streamlight MicroStream USB. So it is rechargeable. It does have a charging indicator. Red when it's charging, green when it's fully charged. And here you could press the button and it will stay on. And here's wide and narrow. And the battery life on this thing is an hour and a half on high and three hours on low. It does have a hat clip and a pocket clip. So for $30, this is a very good flashlight. I've used it for years now. And I only have to charge this thing about maybe once a month or every other month. Up next, I have a Milwaukee knife. This is a two and a half inch blade and it has D2 steel. I paid $52 for this at homedepot.com. It was on sale. has a very good pocket clip. It looks to be reversible. has a good little flipping action on it. So overall a great knife. I wanted something for work that I could beat up on and have some reliability because I use Milwaukee tools all the time. And great little folding pocket knife. I know there's others out there with better steel for about the same price, but that's what I picked. <clears throat> up next, I have a pen from Amazon. This cost two pens for $10. Instead of buying the $100 pens, I went with the $5 pen. This is a Norwalco. I don't know nothing about the company. It twists, it is about three and a half inches long. And if I need to sign some paperwork or take a quick note at work, you could get the job done. 
So here you can see this wallet has the elastic band. I would say three col uh, cards max in the center, three cards and two cards max on the end here. And I'll show you some other cool features. If you want to only carry maybe two cards in here, you could throw, let's get this in here. You can put the Cobra SX in here. This is the Nipex, so these fit like that. You know, I probably wouldn't recommend putting pliers in there, but you can do that. And here I'll show you the other thing I said in the beginning of the video. If you just want a multi-tool and a knife. And you could probably slide the pen in there as well. That works just fine. So you may find different needs or uses for this wallet. It was only $25. I don't know how long this elastic will last or if it will stretch out. But I thought I'd share this. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to hit the subscribe button. See you guys later.